Hello everyone, in this video we're going to convert 1 inch threadless fork to 1 inch threaded fork. Threaded forks uh, are available now, usually cheap versions, and they usually have long, long threaded portion in order to fit multiple sizes of the frames. However, if quill stem is expanded inside this threaded portion, fork will break. Quill needs to be expanded inside unthreaded portion. We're going to cut uh, the fork to the size that the customer ordered, cut the threads, and we're going to also mill the fork from mill the crown and face the crown of the fork, reduce it from 27.0 millimeter to 26.4 millimeter so a customer can use higher end headset and those usually come with the 26.4 crown races. We're going to have to remove the chroming from the portions of the fork that we're going to be working with because chroming, if left out, uh, will destroy expensive cutting tools. This is the tool that we're going to be milling the crown with. This is a park tool. We're going to face the crown and mill it from 27.0 to 26.4. This tool has nice long one inch pilot guide inside it to ensure perpendicularity of the cuts uh, to the axis of the fork. We also gonna use this tool to guide um, our threading tool to, to help engage threads um, perpendicular to the axis of the fork. This is a threaded tool also by Park. Uh, it has a really short guide, pilot guide in it also, but we're going to use, as I said, the milling tool to help guide in it. There are three runs uh, of the threading. First, we have to initially make, make the thread, and uh, there are two runs to chase it, make sure it's compatible with the one inch threaded headset that we're going to use. Now I'm removing the milling tool because I have good portion of the threads already made and we don't need the guide anymore. This is final chase of the threads. 40 millimeter threads are cut and I'm testing it with the headset. It has to screw on smoothly without any resistance and without much play, almost without any play for the best results. You can um, do it on your own, or if you want to reach out to me and hire me to do it, here's my website and my phone number. I'm a Brooklyn bike doctor, but not in Brooklyn. I'm Brooklyn bike doctor in Austin, Texas. Thank you very much.